Need computer training for a group or office? Contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. The logo control and the image control both insert a selected image into your form. The only difference between the two controls is that the logo is automatically resized and then placed into the form header section within your form. When you use the image control, you choose the size and placement of the selected image within your form. To add a logo to your form, just click the logo button that appears in the header footer group of the design tab of the form design tools contextual tab within the ribbon in Access 2010. In Access 2007, this button is located in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Now, after you've clicked the Logo button, Access will open the Insert Picture dialog box, which you can use to locate the image file that you want to use as the logo within the form. Select the image file and then click the OK button in the Insert Picture dialog box to automatically insert the logo into the form header section of your current form. To insert an image into the form and also choose the size and placement of the image, click the Image button that appears in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Next, click and drag over the area in the form or report over which you want to place the image. When you release your mouse button, the control will insert itself into the form and also launch the Insert Picture dialog box. Once again, use the Insert Picture dialog box to locate the image file that you want to insert. Select the image file and then click the OK button in the Insert Picture dialog box to insert the selected picture into the frame that you created. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.